Congratulations and thank you for purchasing Dynamic Practice Organization. This is a very special training video. For years, our opponents, coaches, and players have been amazed at the level of skill, teamwork, and competitiveness that the youngsters who train at Baseball World have shown as they captured the AAU National Championship tournaments in 1990, 1991, and 1992. And now in Dynamic Practice Organization, we'll share the training secrets that have helped our students to vastly improve their skills. Dynamic Practice Organization features Coach Tommy Mansky's building block approach to athletic training. Here, our students slow down the techniques to a speed where they can perform them correctly with the help of our instructors. They then gain the feel of the proper technique. Then secondly, we increase the complexity of the drill to a pace much like game rhythms. And thirdly, we push the drill to speeds beyond normal game rhythms as a test. In addition, Coach Imansky believes it's important that each day begins with a briefing in class. Here, the proper techniques that are to be acquired are presented and now become clear in our students' minds before they go out onto the field. Then, we follow each session or drill with a debriefing. Here, we'll all learn to take advantage of our mistakes. These are training methods, not that much unlike those employed by our country's top fighter pilots, our country's modern-day gladiators. In baseball, if you have a bad day, you go home. But in fighter aviation, if you have a bad day, you die. So split-second decisions and reactionary skills training are vital. And throughout this video, we'll discuss the corollaries of baseball world's training methods and the training methods of our country's top guns with the help of Lieutenant William Riley, a U.S. Navy Strike Fighter Squadron VFA-87, a Top Gun graduate. Now, let's get started with less we now move along in our training video with a drill designed to improve our communication skills. Tennis Racket 1 is a drill we often refer to as infield outfield communication drill. Tennis uh, balls are used as they're a lot more difficult to catch because they're so light and they move in the wind and it's easier for the coach to control and place where he wants to put the ball. We have found a major problem encountered with youth league players is they often act like they're, the infielders act like they're locked into the infield and like they're not allowed out of there. So we de uh, developed a set of rules for them and the rules are simply this. All balls hit into the outfield are the infielders. However, the outfielder has priority, and if he calls mine, the infielder will get out of the way. This is a good way for the boys to learn how to communicate and has helped our teams become very successful. Great. Brian that time called mine. Okay, and Bo broke off. Brian, get a little deeper for this drill purposes. Go on back semi to the warning track. We're going to make this a little bit difficult than it might actually be. And tennis racket balls hit in the air. Nice long. Oh, great job. You see right then, that time, Brian felt that Bo was in good shape, and he yelled the words, take it. And then uh, Bo went ahead and did his job. If Bo hears mine, then he's going to give way. There's a long ball hit. Take it. Good job. And you notice how Brian broke out of the way, so there's not any confusion. So to go over our rules of engagement, rule number one is all balls hit into the outfields are the infielders. So Bo's going out. And he says, take it, take it. Now, however, if our outfielder feels he's in better shape, we give him the priority. We give him command of, that, of his territory by yelling, mine. And if he yells that, Bo will break off. There's a high tennis ball going out. Mine. mine. And he broke off. Very good job, gentlemen. This, again, looks simple, but it takes a lot of hard work. Uh, we actually worked these kids on 300-foot fences with this in, in, in tougher scenarios, and they just do just as well. Nice job communicating, guys. In review of Tennis Racket 1, all balls hit for the drill purposes belong to the infielder. However, if he hears Bye. from the outfielder, he maneuvers to get out of the way. After our students are comfortable with Tennis Racket 1, we again increase the drill's complexity as we move on to Tennis